It is October the 20th, 2021. This is the second Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec Site in the St. Simon Sound. Well, back out today, and uh, we saw this coming across uh, the causeway. It looked like they had it pulled up, so we couldn't resist. Had to jump in the boat, get out here, and take a look. And it, yeah, the section four is up out of the water, and we're looking to what appears to be damage very similar to what we saw with section five with uh, that side of the ship that was down on the seabed uh, ripped away. Uh, looks like there is another good chunk of it that's missing with a lot of damage, a lot of dangling decks, and uh, looks like a lot of missing cargo. So we're pretty sure that we've got a significant number of vehicles now that are down on the seabed in the St. Simon Sound. And uh, looks like there's going to be quite a bit of cleanup. We feel very confident they're going to be able to handle this, but it's going to take a little more time before, before the site's completely cleaned up. Now, having section four out of the water um, is is a major milestone uh, but keep in mind uh, like section five that we saw before we're probably going to have to see some uh, rather creative and extensive cradles uh, a pretty uh, substantial cradling system again constructed on that dry dock that's in the port of brunswick to be able to receive this piece. As you can see, these pictures, yeah, it, it looks like it's affected maybe the top seven, eight, maybe nine decks. And yeah, the piece of the side of the ship is completely missing, gone. So we continue the saga and it looks like nothing is going to go easy for the crews out uh, working the site. Just uh, it's going to be, it's going to fight right to the very end. Just very similar damage. Again, what we saw was section five. Uh, the The good news here is that yeah, it, it is up, yeah, and it has not collapsed onto itself. That is great news, uh, but they're going to have to do some fishing, some creative recovery work in order to uh, get those pieces up. Now, on the other side of the ship, this is on the south side of Section 4. That is St. Simon's in the background, just so everyone's oriented. The uh, Mars group was out pulling some more cars out of the raised section. Uh, there were cars that they couldn't get to before. Now they can access them with the ship up a little higher, and those guys were out really turning and burning today. Again, this was late. This was well into 6 p.m., 5.36 p.m. today, local time. They were still working, and they have amassed quite the collection here of cars off of Section 4. Look at that barge, and look how many cars they have collected today. It's been busy, and they have been productive. We could see the the machine working and got some a video and some stills uh, up close of, of the uh, blue Fuchs 390. This this piece of equipment has been on the channel several times here, and it is just so entertaining to watch and how this operator handles 
these cars and how he is able to manipulate uh, the cars and get them stacked on that board. It's just really, really amazing. And, you know, I, I, it looks like he has well over 100 cars here on this bar. It's just a massive amount, just a pile of them. And uh, obviously a very productive day fishing with the blue grapple. It looks like the, the next big thing to happen is going to be uh, the arrival of the Thor Derek barge. And we're expecting, expecting that to happen tomorrow. We're going to keep our eyes open and hopefully we'll see that happen. Um, it's going to be, uh, it's quite the piece of equipment. We're looking forward to seeing it get into the port in the next phase of the a removal of uh, Section 5 out of the port. Uh, on the parting shot today, this morning ball, this is where the, the last barge was pulled out today between the site and Jekyll. It is gone, and that is out of here. Hey, Menorcan Navy Cap Mandy coming to you from the Menorcan Mullet. We're double dipping today, so this will be the second video we put out tonight. We're coming back from uh, football practice today, uh, going over to see the Mighty Red Terrors practice, and looked over and looked like the ship was up, so we had to swing in and, and grab grab the boat and get out there and take a look. And sure enough, once we got out there, you can see the damage uh, on that side, and that's unfortunate because, again, we know we've got that much more material that's down on the floor of the sound. Probably some vehicles that separated with that piece when it came apart. Um, it's going to be interesting, interesting to see. Now, uh, I've got something here for the Menorcan Navy, and that is that on Wednesday. Let me pull this up. So I want to make sure I get this information to you guys accurately for you local members. of the Menorcan Navy. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, here we go. Uh, Wednesday, October the 27th at 5.30 p.m. at the Silver Bluff Brewery in Brunswick, Georgia, and that's downtown. Um, they're going to have a presentation and uh, it's Maybe uh, if you guys got some questions that you want to answer or just want to come up and see the presentation, it'll be 530 Silver Bluff Brewery in Brunswick, downtown. And uh, we expect to have some representatives there uh, to uh, put on a presentation um, and maybe answer some questions. And uh, one question we've got is, is going to be how, how many cars do we have down left in the war. You know, they've got some pretty sophisticated sonar uh, boats, uh, so we think they probably have a pretty good understanding of how many are down there, um, how many they're missing, and what are we looking at number-wise for vehicles down on the bottom uh, of the sound. Uh, it would be uh, interesting to hear, and hopefully they'll have a presentation, maybe include some of that information. I'm very curious 
to know that number. Well, hey, that's going to do it for the report. Uh, we're going to ask you if you haven't done it yet. That subscribe link, it's right, it, sh it should be right down there. Maybe, maybe it's right down there. It's right down in the bottom corner somewhere. Click on that. Subscribe to the channel for us. You see that thumbs up under the video? Hit it. Let people know you like what you see. Continue to comment. You know, guys, we, we kind of thrive on the comments of what, what really makes us go. And we appreciate getting those. But most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.